Ruben, thank you so much for participating in our Labs of Democracy. Um, why do you take the time? Thank you so much. It's been a wonderful opportunity. You know, I just, I believe so much in the transatlantic relationship. Uh, my state, Washington State, is the home of Amazon, Microsoft, Boeing, Starbucks, Expedia, some of the premier companies in the world. Uh, and yet we have so much to learn, not just about the technology sector and how data works today, but really best practices from around the world. And Germany just has such a passion around some of these issues, and there's such fabulous opportunities for learning. I wanted to, to take advantage of that. Talking about learning, um, after those two last really um, packed days in Stuttgart, is there something which you would say you have already learned and you take back? Well, there's so many best practices. I think one example is the issue of apprenticeships in terms of uh, German infrastructure and the industry that takes the workforce development issue so seriously and the future of work is so important worldwide. Uh, so that's an important learning, but there's also the ability to operationalize some of these ideas around transit and smart cities and electrification of transportation and uh, climate issues. So a lot of the sharing of best practices has spanned across a lot of categories, and I think the digitization of our society and how data flows is the underpinning and the foundation of all of it. Your state is one of the states way ahead on climate policies. Um, you work on digital issues, but really also on climate climate issues. Um, what's the connection between those three, two areas? Yeah, well, the connection is everything, right? I mean, the, the challenge of decarbonizing, I mean, Germany faces it. The decarbonization of the electricity sector and the energy system means modernizing your grid. I mean, there's a lot of investments, public infrastructure that's essential. So uh, the connection is very real, how data flows uh, how energy flows, all of these issues, how, how we have reliability and modern uh, integration of wind, hydro, solar, nuclear, so many other systems. So it's all tied together, but more than anything, we have to meet Paris Agreement level emission reductions. Germany has to be committed to that, the United States has to be committed to that, and that means that all of us have to have the humility to learn together how to move forward. In our next cycle of the Left of Democracy, we want to look at especially this climate climate change, and we very much hope that we can rely on your expertise um, on that topic as well. Yeah, it's so important. It's the essence of everything. And the challenge that Germany faced this last year with the floods, I think, was in many ways a symbolic representation that our quality of life is threatened. And those of us in the Western world need to, to, again, have the humility to learn and to reflect and to employ best practices from around the world. And that's what's sharing, and that's what's special about the transatlantic relationship. Well, thank you so much for being here and sharing your time and insight and knowledge with us. Thank you so much, Ruben.